Alright YouTube, what's up? It's Chris here, I touch I apps, and today's app review is going to be on an application available in the App Store that is actually on the new tab. Uh, it's called Quadrum Colors 2. This is a tile sorting type of game, almost like a Tetris, um, but it's kind of almost got the same interface, but it's a little bit different in mode, in ways that you have to move the blocks in columns up and down horizontally and vertically instead of block by block. So, this application available is available, like I said, in the App Store for a price of $1.99. It isn't that bad for this application. Um, I just don't know if it's that if it's my type of application that I would play consistently. Um, but it, it can get addicting if you get into it for a little while. So, let's go ahead and open it up. Here we go. Uh, it opens up saying their name, Quadrum Colors 2. I just want to start off also thanking the developer for me up with this promo code. Alright, so it has... Three different game modes you can choose from. First one is Puzzle, second one is Color Rush, and the third and last is Zen Colors. The other two options you have are to continue your last started game before you close this application, and you can also visit and check out your high scores for each mode. It keeps your high scores for the Puzzle, Color Rush, and Zen mode. My best is in Puzzle mode, because that's the best. That's the mode I do the best in. You go ahead and click Continue to go back to this main menu screen. So, first of all, I'm going to show you Puzzle mode. When you first open it up, you have the option of doing easy, um, and then they have locked here. They have, I was trying to read it before, it's kind of hard to read. Let me take it away from the camera for a second. That's what they are. It says easy, normal, hard, and then very hard. Those are locked. You can unlock those by going throughout the easy mode and getting better and better, and eventually you'll unlock these different modes. So let's go ahead and go into easy. And here you go, you first open up with this screen. But when you first do this application, it'll open up you with this, which will tell you what puzzle mode is. It says the goal of puzzle mode is to clear the board of the tiles. By sliding rows and columns, put the tiles of the same color in lines. Once you have a vertical or horizontal line of at least four tiles long, double tap it and the group will disappear. Tiles react to gravity tilting combined with sliding can be very useful when solving some puzzles. Try it. Use the multicolored tiles to make change, chains, link differently colored lines where the colors of the lines match the two colors of the multicolored tile linking them. Chains will give you more score. So you go ahead and click continue after you read that. So the whole point of this puzzle mode is to get four blocks, four blocks in a row, either vertically or horizontally. So I'm going to go ahead and take these blues. As you guys can see here, once you choose a color or a block, you can only move it horizo uh, horizontally and then vertically. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move that blue, I'll move this blue over, I'll move that blue up. So now as you guys can see, I have four blues in a row. All you have to do is go ahead and double. Again, I'm going to go ahead and move over this purple. I'm going to go ahead and move that up now. Oh, I can't. And well, there you go. You see, this is one of the things that is going to come in handy with the tilting. As you guys can see there, I want to line that fourth purple up there, but I can't because there's no space for it to fill in. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to turn it this way, and now as you can see, the block, the all the blocks have reacted. See, I'll turn it upside down. Turn it back here. All the blocks will react as when you're tilting your device. So I'm going to go ahead and take this purple now. I believe I can. Yes. Now I can slide the purple over, and now I have a column of four purples. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and see this swirly color right there. It's a mixture of a purple and an orange. I'm going to go ahead and use that because you get more points when you use that in a chain. So now watch. That creates a chain. Double tap it. There you go. You move, The whole thing goes away. Uh, down here, if you guys can see it, is your score. And your time right there. You also have the main menu button and a info button. So you go ahead and click that main menu button to bring you back to this main menu. I'm going to go ahead now and show you the color rush mode. The color rush mode also has the same difficulty levels. Um, easy is unlocked right away. Sorry if that's a little bright. You guys can see there, easy. And what this color mode allows you to do, let me go ahead into the info really quickly. It basically has the same goal is to clear the board of all the tiles. But in this mode, you're rushed to do it. So you're actually on a real time limit. Uh, they give you a certain amount of time, and then if you don't get in that time quick enough, it'll start counting down, and when that time reaches zero, you'll get another column of blocks come down from the top. Any number any number of them can drop from one to whatever the amount in the full row is. You will see a countdown of five as soon as that starts, and as soon as that reaches zero, that's when your uh, row will appear. So let's go ahead and show you this. So it's pretty much the same process. I'm going to go ahead and slide these over. I'm just going to fool around, just get these until I reach the color rush. As you guys can see, I'm just filling in the colors. I'm supposed to be filling in. Let's see here. 
uh, gonna go. And this game does take a little bit of strategy, because you do have to match it up. But as you can see, there's the countdown. Boom, there your next row of blocks drops in. And if that reaches the top, eventually, it will. And you will lose the game if you can't get those out of the way in time. It's gonna double tap it. Sometimes it doesn't want to do it on the first tap. Just go ahead and give it another tap. It'll work then. Like I was saying, this game does take a little bit of strategy because you do have to uh, realize where you want to be moving the blocks and what how that's going to affect your next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this really quickly and make them appear there so I have more moves that I can possibly make. So I'm going to go ahead and move all these reds over. I move this red up. Oh, I can't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way, totally upside down, so that I can take this red block right here, move it down here, double tap it. There we go. Like I said, here you go. You can turn this any which way of your iPod Touch or iPhone. The blocks will react, which is really neat to the gravity and the accelerometer sensors. So that's really neat right there. That is Color Rush. Like I said, Z Colors, which is the last mode. Once again, the easy mode you, I'm choosing because I did not unlock the other modes yet. I'm going to go ahead to Info. And the, this game is actually the hardest game. I can't really understand it too well. So I'm going to have a little bit of trouble explaining it to you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, but the whole... What you want to do with this game, it's an endless game mode, but it doesn't have any kind of win condition, so there's no way of you winning it. You can only achieve a high score if you just stop playing it. The whole point here is you have to intersect lines, and the lines must be have at least four tiles long as usual. The single matches will not be accepted in the Z mode, only color change. So you need to use the color chains to do that. So these little swirly dudes right here is what you need to basically use them and combine it with the other colors as you can see right there i do have a row of them with one of those swirlies but it's not working so i am pretty confused with this mode right here um if you keep doing the wrong thing it will give you a little tip right there which is pretty neat if you start getting confused or something like that something like that which i am uh when i'm using this mode um so i can't really show you guys too much on this mode but all the other modes are really great guys uh i don't know if maybe you guys understand this mode a little bit more than i do um but this mode, I really don't prefer that mode. I really prefer Puzzle and Color Rush. Color, most, color Rush is more, uh, I guess, auxiliary, you could say, almost. Because it does have the uh, thrill that makes you want to get it done faster. You have to almost rush to do it, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click High Scores once again. There you go. It keeps your high scores. Color Rush is 8. Uh, I think, I believe I might have just got that. I'm not really sure. But that's basically it on this application, guys. Available in the App Store. It's Quadrum Colors 2. Thanks for watching this review, guys. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash itouchipods. Also, don't forget to check out the website, www.appleupdaters.com. And I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace. Thank you also to all my recent subscribers. And I will catch you guys later. Take care.